everyone, this is Zed. Today I'm going to introduce to you guys the nutrition and health class by Mr. Bergman. As we know, our human body observes nutrients every day. But what is the real health in our daily life? In this course, you will learn about nutrition and food, such as food safety, how to eat healthy, and the source of nutrition in our body. This will help you to have a healthy diet and develop a good eating hobby. If you are going to choose this course, you need to have some basic knowledge of food. And Mr. Bergman will show some interesting pictures in this course to help you learn more easily. And hope this video will help you. Thank you for watching. Yeah, that's it. Hello everyone, my I'm Irene and today I take the BOH for M Business Leadership to the, the course I impress very most. Uh, in this course we will studying uh, types of personalities, uh, how to motivate yourself and others, and you can also uh, study about how to be an effective leader, management of conflict in the team, and social responsibility, and so on. Um, and in each unit, we will have an uh, assignment to practice and deeply understand our lesson. Uh, recently, I just finished my uh, first assignment in this course, and I will show you. <clears throat> This is the assignment that we that I took in this call. As you can see, um, as you can see that we will study about the result about uh, my personality and my uh, others personality aspect. Uh, so as my young sister, this one will have me have to deal with uh, different types of personality when I have conflict with them. Um, moreover, this assignment will help me understand my and other strengths and weaknesses. That will help you how to appreciate with their strengths and uh, weaknesses. And in this course, it will improve your skill to cooperate with others. Thanks for listening. Um, so I choose these uh, biology courses because uh, I feel like they are uh, one of the most, uh, the course with the most activity that I have ever taken. So um, the pros of these courses is you can uh, conduct a virtual lab because we cannot like, um, go to school and do labs at school. So we switch to virtual lab instead. So you can learn through experience through doing these labs. And the difficulty of these courses are the vocabulary. There are so many vocabulary in biology and so many information to remember. But uh, I think that this information you guys uh, may have learned uh, uh, back in your home country when you are uh, in like uh, secondary school. So you don't have to worry. So my tips to be success at this course um, is to take notes uh, in your notebook or computer, whichever way you like. Um, don't just screenshot the, the lecture of the teacher because uh, I know that we don't like look back at our screenshot that much. And I think one more tip is to have at least one friend to be, you know, your teammate in like group work. So you can get higher grades in group work. Uh, now I will share a screen of one of the classwork. Here. Uh, these are the classwork that I have saved on my drive. And I will choose this. So yeah, this one is uh, one of the classwork that we did uh, 
uh, for biochemistry in the grade 12 biology course. Uh, yeah, so that's it for my presentation. Thank you. And I just joined this TCA in a TA in last month, November. But I actually experienced a lot of um, cool subjects. And the subject I'm going to talk about is EPS3 by Mr. Alex Chan, and it's actually a presentation course. Um, like Irene has said, uh, Mr. Alex is a really enthusiastic teacher where he encouraged people and engaged people. And since he is teaching about presentation, and of course he has engagement and can choose, teach a lot of things. In the presentation course, you can meet with a lot of different types of presentation, not just normal talking. You have to learn how to engage audience and then how to prepare a presentation in like one minute. Um, I mean, uh, his lecture, it's not long. And he actually focuses on very short tips and it's easy to memorize. And it is very helpful. Like, uh, I basically come, I mean, I'm confident at making PowerPoint, but not really having a presentation. Um, so after taking this course, I can actually apply successfully to my Global Youth Challenge competition and it's, and it's successfully completed. Um, so now I'm going to share one of my assignments. This is actually my first, oh, can you see my screen? You can, right? Uh, this is actually my first uh, presentation in this course. Um, so taking you through a little bit. Um, so taking presentation course mean you have different kind of presentation to be given every week. It's not really rushing because he gives feedback every time because he asked for a kind of rough draft and copy so that he can make your presentation more completely. And this is one of my notes for my uh, for this course. I encourage you to take this course because it's really helpful and because presenting is being popular everywhere. So that is for my recommendation. Thank you.